say hi to YouTube. Hello, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome to Brandon and Sophie Gaming. Um, just because I don't really have PlayStation Plus, as you guys already know, if you've seen a lot of our videos, um, I decided to do um, the Federal Investigation mission, so I'm just doing the high setups. Okay, let's see all the masks. I love the ape mask, literally. Yes, pal. I didn't realise I was buying it from Michael and Trevor at the time. So when they told me to buy the mask for Franklin, I thought I had to switch on to Franklin. But I realised afterwards I was doing it for them anyways. I enjoyed buying the outfits and everything for them because when they put them on um, it, it was kind of cool because I was just giggling. I don't know. You can casually just hear me clicking my buttons. I was kind of screwed when I only had a sniper because I'm not really good at sniping. So. I didn't really realise that there was two guys after I killed the first one. So that kind of sucked because I thought the guy got out but he didn't so I kind of just panicked and started just like randomly sniping ev everywhere and I think I sniped the wrong side because I keep forgetting that they sat on the other side the American oops look at you guys probably don't even know what I'm on about so I was just driving to the second high setup now so I could get that done. Now I'm just going to head to the third house setup. Um, and this one I have to steal a garbage truck. So.
awkward cops. Literally, they were like circling me and everything, and I found it quite tough to get rid of them. But I managed in the end, which is good. Finally, literally. Um, also, well, I'm just getting on to the location I need to drop off the garbage truck. Leave links for glitches you want us to try out. Hopefully, I'll be able to try them out with Brandon when I get my PSN. Um, Brandon actually does not. He might be back soon. I'm not really sure. Uh, what else? As I can see. Oh, yeah, quit for our q and A, if like it'd be good if you left questions in the comments box or bit <laughs> and also uh, if you want to add me and Brandon I'll put the names on screen right now Okay, so now I'm gonna head to the last high setup. everything. Come back to the lot and I'll talk you through the plan. When we get the stuff, Steve says we gotta take it to Devin West, the guy we met at that interrogation. It's a big investor or something. Anyway, that don't matter. I'll handle the drop-off. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually do the final heist. I failed this millions of times, so I'm gonna skip the first two times and get to the time when I actually did it all right. I mean it was my first time doing it and I couldn't find the people I had to snipe this Trevor so it took quite a while so I'm sorry. So we really finna do this shit? We finna risk our lives to rob some motherfucking government killers again? Yeah. Hey. All right. Listen up. Here's the plan. All right, Trevor. Yeah. I want you in this position up here. Okay, you're on lookout. Give me a heads up when the armored car comes by. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna be right here in the garbage truck blocking the roadway. Franklin, you're in the alley. The tow truck. Hope is they pull right up in front of you. When they do, you come at them hard. Bam. Shit, here's hope. Yeah, after the hit, you blast open the doors, grab up all the cash, bonds, whatever it is, I take it to Haynes' guy. It's all a little hopeful, homie. As long as I am not on the ground when the shit goes down, okay? When the shit goes down, we'll handle it. You stay up here. 
on your post. Size peel. Yeah. It will take the risk. Sound cool? Shit, you the professional, dog. And at least we're not wearing clown outfits. There's a plus. Right. The masks. What? <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Huh? Real professional. <laughs> Let's do this. Go. I literally love that part where they're together and they're all just giggling about the outfits. I don't know, it seems like such a cool friendship. I know it sounds really strange, but like, I don't know. Visual on the target should be with you any moment. All right, Mike, move it. Get the truck in position. Block both lanes of traffic. Change their schedule? Ramus B, bitch!
Trash truck. I'll get the bonds to Steve's guy. The government don't need me no more. Woo, shit, all right, man. You stay safe.
Yeah, man, shit, that trash truck is trash, dog. You good? Nice work. I'm about to meet this guy. I'll tell you how it goes. Got a package for Devin West. Package for West. Telling you that I don't give a flyer fuck. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Boom! So long, motherfucker! Devin Weston. Yeah, I remember you. The weekend interrogator. Invest wisely. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. We're not done here yet. I got a job for you, bro. Five top quality scores, big ticket cars, major payday, bro. Sounds great. I got just the guy for you. I'll put you in touch. No, 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 I don't want just some dude. I want you. I want your crew. I want pros on this. Yeah, I don't give a fuck what you want, pencil neck. I'll let them know you're interested. I guess I just got you figured wrong, man. Hey, what's the figure? Tell me something. You like football? I got a stake in a sports investment venture. You like the market? I got some funds you can manage. Name your poison, man. I just like sitting around watching old movies. Oh, there we go. How about I hook you up? with Solomon Richards. Bullshit. Solomon Richards, the movie producer? Eh, he's retiring, man, and I'm doing a finance deal for his studio. I will make the connect just as soon as you... <sighs> All right. Oh, man. Solomon Richards. Have a good one, boys. Come in, come in. Thanks. You must be Michael. Yeah. You know, I used to have three secretaries. Now I have to make my own coffee and give myself a happy ending. <laughs> See, the ships are coming in. But the walls will hold us. Nelson in Naples. Pluto? I said Mars, you cocksucker. <laughs> Shoulder of Orion. Two. Devin Weston said you were a fan. Huge fan. Tell me, Michael. Devin Weston. Did he... Does he want you to bump me off? No, not at all. He said you were retiring but might need some help on a movie. Only assholes retire, Michael. Him and my son, they want to put me out to pasture so they can turn this place into condos or a theme park or something. But this place is a dream factory. Well, maybe they have different dreams. Some days, I don't blame them. You know, they always say, never work with children or animals. Well, I want to add to that list. Never work with directors or actors. This picture is going to kill me. All right. So what's it about? It's perfect. Set in Liberty City. Meltdown. It's all being shot on green screen right up back there. We take a look at the financial crisis, and then we boil it all down into a really simplistic battle between two yuppies. And lots of training montages. So what's the problem? Milton McElroy. I cast him in the second lead because he's cheap. Zero talent, incidentally. Well, he's got this new agent, Rocco Pelosi. He's been hassling us about renegotiating the deal. So now... He's holding up shooting until he gets paid. That sounds problematic. It would be if the director wanted to shoot. 
Anton Baudelaire. Ever heard of him? That doesn't surprise me. Now he's having a mental breakdown, pissing all over himself, who knows where. Alright. Looks like you got yourself that new assistant. But no happy endings. <laughs> I love you already! <laughs> has been worried sick you get lost wrinkles who's this jackass hey you oh turns out these guys are in love with their contract so they'll be going back to the set with me can you believe this fucking clown no this guy's all mine <laughs> into magic. Get a grip. I love ya. So Solomon, Milton here has a little something he wants to say to you. Say it. Ah, uh, I, I just, just want to say that I'm sorry for any misunderstanding, sir, and I, I appreciate all the opportunities that, that, that you've given me. Of course, of course. Michael, what can I say? You're a natural. I love you. You're too kind. No, no, I mean it. I don't mean to presume. But would it be okay if I gave you a shout? This shoot seems cursed for some reason or another. I need an associate producer. I'd love that. We'll talk soon. I gotta go. Oh, hell yeah.
gonna dress up as traffic cops, and you're gonna rob two trust fund kids that I know and dislike intensely. Uh, why? We can get a good price for the vehicles in Asia. Look, complete the work, you'll all be well paid. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh, 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 you finally get to realize your childhood dream and dress up as a cop. Mr. Weston's research team suggests the two boys like to ride on the Sonora Freeway. Sounds manageable. Hey, you two get going. Ooh, let's go, T. Dog, I don't know if this shit is for me, homie. My life's already way the fuck out of control. All right, look. I'm a Darwinist, brother, all right? Some prosper and some struggle. Now, are you out of your goddamn mind? This is your lucky break. Choose. Now, are you going to do this, or have you simply found your level in life? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'll get to a wheel, homie. Homie.
between you two either. 